Like MIDI, Open Sound Control is a protocol that allows disparate pieces of hardware and software to communicate. Information on Open Sound Control, or OSC, can be found at open, opensoundcontrol.org, and you can read about the OSC 1.0 specification, or the 1.1 specification, and as well get information on what software and hardware speaks OSC. OSC uses UDP packets on a network to communicate, so it makes it very supple in that you don't need uh, a MIDI interface to connect software together. And if your software can handle UDP packets, then you're in business. We'll be using a piece of software called Osculator to connect a Wiimote to PD. Osculator is available for the Mac, and unfortunately it isn't available uh, for PC, but you can use GlovePie on the PC to achieve the same thing. Though, it is important to note that the messages will be different, but fundamentally, we'll be doing the same thing, connecting the Wiimote to the computer, and then sending messages out on a certain port and receiving them into PD. I've got Osculator open in the background, and the Wiimote drawer in Osculator is extended, and the activity indicator says, let's sniff out a Wiimote. To do this, I'll press 1 and 2 on the Wiimote that is buried in a DJ Hero controller. After discovery, I'm given what Wiimote uh, is connected in terms of its MAC address and how Osculator is looking at it in terms of connection order. Osculator can connect up to eight Wiimotes to a computer. And as well, it can connect other Wii peripherals, such as a balance board or a nunchuck, um, or a DJ Hero controller in this case. In this particular version of Osculator, I'm using a beta, uh, but the author plans on releasing uh, the DJ Hero capable beta um, uh, soon to the public. In the main window, you see message, event type, and value, and message is the open sound control message. And it looks a lot like a web address. You have slash and then a word, slash, word, slash, word. And it makes a lot of sense. Slash we, slash one, slash DJ, slash joy. So a we control, it's the first control according to this list here at the right. It's a DJ hero controller. And then this is the joypad, which is the nunchuck-like pad here. You can see as, as I move the control, these yellow indicators appear, so indicating that something is happening with the control. There's the platter, the crossfader, the effects uh, knob, and as well I've got the Wiimote uh, information too. I can actually still use the D-pad on the Wiimote, or the two button plus minus, and you can see that the Wiimote control is formatted differently in that there's no DJ in the message because it is considered a separate control here. This formatting scheme, or this naming scheme rather, was composed by the creator of Osculator, and so it might be a little bit different on another piece of software like GlovePie. But the uh, way in which you're going to parse this message in PD is the same. Now, we don't have all of the controls displayed here in Osculator, but to get that to happen, we simply need to press them on the control and Osculator will sniff them out. So there are these large red, green, and blue buttons on the platter. If I press them, look at the main window. You see that Osculator um, senses the controls and then gives us a message for them. So in PD, we're going to be looking for messages slash we, slash one, slash DJ, etc. Now to send these messages out to PD, we're going to need to designate what port on the computer will be routing. Now, I'll pause and mention that if you've got firewall software on your computer, or you have rather aggressive network um, security software, that can get in the way because we're going to be using PD packets over a network to accept um, data from Osculator to PD. And it, you, if you were using a Python script or some other kind of script that was sending uh, PD, or I'm sorry, um, OSC messages, you would have to look at making sure your ports were open. This is uh, a particular problem on Windows because there's rather aggressive network um, firewall policies just default. So make sure that you're looking to unblock certain ports for this usage. On Mac, typically it's not a problem when you're sending within the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send information from the right platter out to PD, but before I do that, I'll need to come to the event type column and choose OSC routing. 
and then from the value column, choose new, and I'm going to send localhost port 9000, localhost being my computer. If I were sending over a network, I would type in the IP address here on localhost by double clicking and then typing in the IP. I can send out to multiple locations if I wanted to, I won't do that in this particular case. I'll repeat this process for every control I wish to use on the DJ Hero controller. So I'll click for the G button, the R button, and the B button, and then send to localhost 9000. If you're wondering what this OSC import is, input port is, if we were receiving messages into Osculator, then this is the port we would be receiving on. It's important to note that we are sending on port 9000. In PD, I'll create a new document, a new patch rather, and before I start, go to PD Extended, Preferences, Startup. Make sure that you've got the Mr. Peach externals in your um, binaries to load. We'll be using some of the OSC externals in that. Let me position these windows so we can see them side by side. Now in PD, command one, and we'll type UDP receive space 9000. So I'm receiving on port 9000. Don't need to type localhost or an IP address. The right outlet will give you um, what IP you're receiving from or what IP is connected to the computer. The left outlet will give you all the messages. So I'll type print. And now, you'll see all of this gobbledygook in the print window. This is actually information from the platter. And as I press one buttons, we see two. Okay, so that doesn't really give us any meaningful um, way to look at this. So what we're gonna do is disconnect the print, command one, unpack OSC. Connect it, and now print. Connect the left outlet of Unpack OSC, and here we see slash we slash one slash DJ slash write slash platter, and that looks just like the message here. And as I move the platter, you see that the values increase and decrease from going clockwise or counterclockwise. So now you're probably thinking, okay, so how do you get to this last value? This last value, this float, that's what we want. It's really simple. We'll go back to our window, disconnect the print, and type route OSC, and go back into it and type space slash we, and then do it again, but now it'll be space slash one, and as you can see, we're moving our way from left to right through this message, so the next one will be space slash DJ. And the next one will be slash right. And then slash platter. It's a lot of messages, but again, the message is pretty long. Finally, we're at the end of the message chain, and the data is right after slash platter, so we'll give ourselves a number box. And now, there we go. We've got information coming from the platter into PD. Now, if you notice in, in uh, Osculator, you'll see we, one, DJ, write, key, B. So we don't actually have to create this entire chain again. We just have to uh, route where the messages are different. So DJ, DJ, write, write. It's at the platter where it's different. It says key here. So we'll come over here and choose another space slash key. That creates a second outlet. Now, route OSC space slash 
g slash r and slash b. And as you would expect, each of these outlets is the data from slash g slash r and slash b, these three messages. So I'll create three number atoms. And then as I press the button, you can see that I get ones and zeros from each of the buttons. So you, you, can, you can see that you get a really fantastic uh, way to connect this cool controller to PD. And the human readable aspect of the message makes it rather simple to parse the message. You're simply stepping through each of the slashes, much like a, a web address, think of it that way, and then you're grabbing data. Uh, so in another movie, we'll take a look at actually connecting this to uh, some sort of sound control, uh, like let's say the manipulation of an audio file in a table. And um, as well, we'll look at sending OSC out from PD into Oscillator.